Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Have you ever had the need to extend your user profile with some more data, for example, like work experience or education experience like LinkedIn or similar? In this video, I will show you exactly how we did it in our Filament examples. One of the newest projects is this one, user profile with work history. And as usual, I will show you the code, but if you want the full repository, this will be a part of filamentexamples.com. So I will link that in the description below. And the idea for that came while I was browsing Upwork for job ideas or project ideas and found one Figma file, not Filament, not even Laravel, but it got me a few ideas. And one of those was exactly that profile with pop-up modal window to edit the experience or add more experiences. I thought this is a pretty common scenario in dashboards and Filament specifically. So you could add experience, pop-up modal, or you can edit the current one, for example, Skype, Inc, submit, then it changes and notification, then you can also delete any experience. And this is then refreshed. So how does it work in the code? First, you need to understand that you can override any of the forms like login, register, or edit profile by creating your own class that would extend the vendor base edit profile, for example. And then inside of that edit profile class, you can override many things or add your own things. So let me demonstrate. Here I have app filament pages edit profile page that extends base edit profile from vendor from filament. And it is then register in the admin panel provider somewhere on top, this one profile class and then simple false means that you have the full design, the full page like filament out of curiosity. If we change that to true, which is actually default, default is true, this is the result. So that's kind of a side note, the thing that you can customize easily with just one parameter. Now, this is the default profile form. I didn't change any of that. So what we did is add additionally at the bottom, the section for experiences. And by the way, when I say we in filament examples, Often the idea is not my own. We have a team of three people and often I'm the author of the idea from business side of you, from the topic, the task, but technical solution is not necessarily my own. So this one belongs to my colleague Nenius mostly. And let me demonstrate. First, in that custom file edit profile, you can override the mount method. The live wire method is kind of like a constructor. So after calling the parent, you may load more data. For example, we load the experiences from the user. And then we have custom methods, whatever you want. I will get to those, but there's create action, edit action, and delete action. Well, actions, and then the form for the modal experience. By default, these are not called automatically, but then you can override also, as well as the edit profile, you can override the blade file and add your custom logic. So the default edit profile blade from Filament in vendor on GitHub, looks like this. So what we did is basically copied all of that. So we didn't change anything in the default profile form, but at the bottom before closing the component, we added just our own custom HTML using other filament components. So there's X filament section, X filament actions group, and more things you can find them in the docs. So first, create action, we just echo the result. And that create action is a method in the edit profile class, we return action make with the form which is down below self experience form, we made it as a separate method because it is used in a few methods. So in the edit action as well, and the action of submitting the form is well adding a new experience prepending the experience to the collection here then LiveWire would re-render the component, which means it would refresh the table and then notification on top. So that's how the new experience is added. Then for each of the existing experiences, we have a filament section with some HTML loading the experience data. And then this is the most important part, actions group, which is visually this one, edit and delete. And then actions is an array this function so you can call the function with parameters like this pretty weird syntax i know but it works so edit action method returns the action so that edit link inside of that group then within that action we fill in the form with right experience in the model and then action is similarly to create experience just in this case it's update 
and then delete is very similar we just do action delete requires confirmation and the action is deleting the record from the database so if you think about it all pretty logical but if i had to write that from scratch i would actually scratch my head quite a lot i think so this is i think a great practical example of something not that much default filament but made it work in the filament profile page what do you think maybe you would have done something differently let's discuss in the comments below and again if you want the full source as well as other components and projects it's all on the filamentexamples.com i will link that in the description below and we're actively working on putting out more practical examples and i will shoot videos about them on this channel so subscribe as well that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.